I'm turning 32 this year. And throughout the years, I spent a lot of time and money trying to figure out what skincare and beauty products work the best for me. While I have a handful of my favorites that I think are worth investing in, I learned that looking our best doesn't always have to be expensive nor complicated. In fact, some of the most trustworthy items that completely transform my skin are simple and natural ingredients that I can always find in my home. Today, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite simple and natural beauty and skincare ideas that you can also try to do it yourself for a fraction of the cost. Just as a little reminder, I'm not a dermatologist and I'm just sharing with you what has worked the best for me. With that said, let's get started. Green tea is so nourishing for our bodies, but I also love using it as a cold press for my eyes. It's incredibly soothing and it helps a lot when my eyes are puffy or swollen in the mornings. So steep two tea bags to make yourself a cup of tea. Take out the bags, let them cool down before you squeeze out all the excess liquid from the bags. I like to put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes or so to use as a cold press, but you can also use it as a warm compress as well. Then all you have to do is place the tea bags directly onto your eyelids and just relax for the next 15 to 20 minutes. And make sure that you grab tea bags that are bleach free so you don't irritate the sensitive skin around your eyes. I shared in my other skincare video how much I love using Perilla powder as a gentle exfoliator, but sometimes it's hard to find, so I use my trustworthy oatmeal instead. I just use one tablespoon of oatmeal and grind it really finely with my coffee grinder. Keyword really finely. I just eyeball how much water I need to make it into a soft, milky paste. The more water, the more gentle it's going to be. After I wash my face, I apply it in a circular motion all over, down to my neck, even to my décolleté, and just let it sit there for about 5 minutes before washing it off. I notice that often oatmeal is a key ingredient for skincare products that relieve irritation because it has vitamin E and anti-inflammatory properties. Apple cider vinegar is a staple in my pantry. Seriously, I use it for everything. And one of my favorite ways to use it is to use it as a toner for my skin. To make your own toner, all you need is apple cider vinegar with the mother and liquid of your choice. I'm using one part ACV and eight parts green tea to dilute it. And at first I would even add a little bit more liquid because ACV is really powerful it can be drying and irritating if you don't dilute it correctly, so please be careful. I spray the mixture onto my cotton pad and let my skin soak it up. Two of the most valuable skincare habits I've adopted is to apply SPF multiple times throughout the day and to protect our skin through what we consume. I always knew that diet affects our skin appearance, but I didn't know how much it plays a role in protecting our skin from external environments. For example, foods that are rich in antioxidants like blueberries, spinach, carrots, sweet potatoes, amongst many other things, can fight off free radicals that damage skin from sun exposure. One of my favorite ways to incorporate more veggies into my diet is to make a Buddha bowl. I stir fry or bake my favorite veggies and put them on a bed of brown rice and edamame. Top it off with some ginger orange dressing. It is so delicious. I'll leave a similar recipe in the description if you want to try. Lately, I've been seeing so many different hair oils and masks on the market for hair growth, but there are so many cheaper and just as effective ways to nourish our scalp. One of my favorites is to use coconut oil with drops of lavender essential oil. I'm using coconut oil, but you can use argan oil or pumpkin seed oil. Then I really massage this mixture into my scalp. I like to comb out my hair just to get any tangles out first, 
and apply it in small sections just to make sure that I get an even coat. You can leave it on for at least 15 minutes. You can go do the dishes or get some chores done and wash it off as normal. Sometimes I do leave the shampoo on a little bit longer and rinse it out multiple times just to get rid of any oil residue. I try to do this mask every month or so and it always leaves my hair feeling so soft and moisturized. You guys already know how much I love coffee, love smelling it, drinking it, and even use it as a body exfoliator. This coffee brown sugar mix smells so divine, it always leaves my skin feeling so soft. You just need half cup of ground coffee, half cup of brown sugar, mix it well before adding it to a half cup of coconut oil. A little tip, just to make sure that the water doesn't get into my jar, I leave a little spoon to scoop it out whenever I try to apply it. Coffee makes a really great scrub because it's high in antioxidants and has beneficial anti-inflammatory properties as well. So I decided to try the heatless salt curls and I am in love with it. After I take a shower, I blow dry it and leave it a little bit damp. I part my hair down the middle and place the sock at the top of my head. I grab a little piece and wrap it around the sock away from my face and grab more pieces from the back, eventually making my way down the sock. I know it looks a little silly, but the end results are so incredible and I actually like better than braiding my hair because the curls look more natural and it really looks like I curled it with a curling iron. Growing up, I always saw my mom making DIY masks and I think that sparked my curiosity to play around with different ingredients just to see what I can come up with. And one of my favorite masks requires just three ingredients, one tablespoon of yogurt, one tablespoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of honey. I apply this mixture with my fingers, leave it on for about 15 minutes and wash it off with warm water. Turmeric has anti-inflammatory and anti-aging benefits. Honey is antibacterial and super moisturizing. And the yogurt has lactic acid, which helps to exfoliate. Just remember that the pigment from the turmeric, it can stain your clothes, your hands, and everything around you, so just make sure to rinse it off right away. No matter what we apply to the surface of our skin, true beauty radiates from within. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments some of your favorite natural beauty tips and ideas. I would love to know as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you guys. Until next week, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll talk to you very soon.